what's going on beautiful people thank you for tuning in once again you guys already know the message one family one love one heart we're all in this together experiencing this subjectively but we're all one consciousness and we're here to help one another play this game better and live through this musical instrument it's a musical instrument we're here to have fun we're here to party we're here to experience some some discomfort some contrast that's necessary but ultimately we experience that contrast so we can just have fun and party, right? And just be good to one another and have a good time and create heaven on earth. Because it's a game. In this video, I want to talk about cold showers. Uh, cold showers as a, from a spiritual point of view. Um, so you will see something that in all spiritual practices, the aim is to momentarily, tra in a transient moment, have or experience ego death ego death essentially is an experience of oneness with everything and a loss of sense of self meaning you lose you like you forget you're even have a body you forget um you can no longer tell the difference between you and someone else or you in the grass you're laying on while they're experiencing this experience or if you really listen to music right and you're really getting the music well for that transient minute or whatever you're not there your body's just dancing to the music because you become the music that, that's the aim of a lot of spiritual practices or like in the sufis for example i love sufi sufism sufis i love sufis um uh they do a lot of, like dancing. They dance and sing and dance and sing and dance and sing like this. And then that, you they, you lose yourself. You lose yourself, right? Um, same thing if you're having sex with someone and you really care for them. They really care for you. You can lose each other in oneself. You can just become one, right? So um, cold showers is like that too. Especially a really cold shower. Because when you walk in a cold shower... And you start breathing. And you keep breathing, breathing, breathing to warm up your body. You are as present as it's going to get in that moment. You are no longer in the pursuit of the future. And you are no longer in the habit of thinking in the past. You are right here at that point. Breathing. Warming your body up, which is it's doing on its own. You're just breathing. You're even your breathing is, is involuntarily. You're just right because your body is it's a natural reaction. And you're just so present. You're so right here. You're not there and you're not there. You're not in that problem. You're not thinking about your job or you're not thinking about the shit that happened in the report you have to hand in or you know you're not thinking about if that girl likes you or not that all disappears because that's part of your ego right it's and we need the ego to survive we need the ego to thrive even right we need it we need it we need to have a strong powerful ego we need that but i'm saying you know in a cold shower you're so so present you're so here you're doing whatever is happening through you and you're just you know you're warming your body up and God damn it, every time I talk about cold showers, I just start getting a hard off the cold showers. Like, I want to go take a go. I mean, I took one this morning because I love them so much. Um, and it's this wonderful spiritual experience because at that point, you are the awareness. At that point, your ego for that transient moment just ceases to exist. You're just there breathing and you're just there. And it's wonderful and it's brilliant and you forget everything past and present and this it's a timeless dimension you're so present if you want someone to force you to be in the present like just uh, complete jolt cold showers will do that for you faster than anything faster than meditation faster than absolutely anything faster than even having sex with someone because you know if you want to have that kind of powerful present moment feeling with someone you have sex with well you would have if you really love them and you guys trust one another and have your hearts open, then that's probably the most powerful way you're going to get there. But I'm saying you need to work towards that, right? You need to develop a relationship or you develop some sort of something with that person. Whereas with a cold shower, you want to experience that ultimate oneness. 
walk in a cold shower and boom you have that ultimate sense of what just sense of present moment oneness i like a lot of times like i'm there and i forget that i the water is really i'm talking about a really cold shower i forget that the water is like fucking i like i lose sense of if i'm the water or the water is me and it's just i'm just here and it's just everything is everything just is it's and everything is perfect at that moment everything just is that's not what the tao is tao mm -hmm. tao is it's the tao it's the tao it's the way it is it just is everything just is well i experienced that in a really fucking cold shower and it is like i put it up there man like sex is very sex is a very spiritual experience and i i put cold showers you know right after sex honestly like i put it right there as not as like for me well, there's music. They're all so beautiful, aren't they? Sex, music, cold showers. Oh, God, they're all so beautiful. They're all so, I mean, life is so beautiful. Life is so wonderful. I mean, everything is. It can be spiritual, honestly, because we are spiritual. For us to ignore that we are spiritual beings having a human experience is to do ourselves great injustice and to be stuck in this ego mind games that we play. But to recognize that we can actually live moment to moment and everything is in the moment, then everything is beautiful. Sex is beautiful. Cold showers are beautiful. Music is beautiful. And they're all, they all give us a chance to just, for transient moment, dissolve our ego and just be present in the moment. Right? They're all wonderful things. In fact, I don't even want to compare things anymore. See, I learn by making these videos because by comparing, by saying, oh, no, sex is more spiritual. No, cold showers, it's like, I'm just falling in those, again, comparison, ego traps, right? Ego traps. So... Every moment, everything is can be like, we are spiritual. If we're present, then we're spiritual. Because when we're present, we're the awareness, right? We're the awareness. Cold showers give you the chance to be aware. Cold showers give you the chance to be here. The awareness, the Atman, the watcher, the observer. But you're not thinking in a cold shower. Fuck that. There's no thoughts. There's just... <sighs> It's so wonderful and it's so beautiful so yeah yeah take cold showers guys they're amazing they're wonderful they will help you be more present than everything else because you oxygenate your body and you feel amazing and you feel vital and you feel alive sex will be much more transcending you'll have less thoughts in it when you listen to music, you'll fucking lose yourself into the music. I mean, I'm just telling you my experience here, you know. For me, cold shower helped me be present. I, I was one of those guys that is all <laughs> right all over the place, egomaniac. And again, it's good to have a strong ego. I have a strong ego. I know this Saeed is strong. I need Saeed to be strong in the world. But I'm saying, getting stuck in those mind games is not good, right? And for me, I was always stuck in there, you know, like... Yeah, you know, even, fuck, even, like, everything. I was just always thinking, even if I'm having sex, I'm still fucking, like, you know, all over. But when I started taking cold showers, man, I never experienced present moment like I did with a cold shower. When I took my first cold shower, I knew, whoa, fuck, there's something, man. I, whoa, whoa, what is going on here? Whoa, this is, I've never experienced this present moment maybe since I was a kid. All kids are present until we have rules and conditions and you got to do this and you got to do that. And man, ever since I started experiencing like this present moment, this serenity, this amazing feeling that I get from cold showers, then everything else became much more present and serene. It just translated over into every area in my life. How you do one thing is how you do everything. All right, so I think I've said enough. I love cold showers, fucking love cold showers. God bless, God bless your cold shower. Thank you, thank you. Um, I'll finish off with a story. One time I was high on mushrooms and I went and took a cold shower and that cold shower transferred into this wise man with a beard, with the, gray, with the white beard, right? I swear to God, and I was there kneeling to this wise man that should my my shower head became a fucking wise man with a with a with a beard with a with a white beard and I kept saying thank you thank you thank you thank you i love you thank you i love you thank you you have you have taught me so many things you still to teach me so many things and then that that quote from wim hof the cold is my own cold is 
the gold is my only master the gold is my only teacher it started popping in my head and i was like thank you you taught me so much and it did teach me a lot and it's still teaching me a lot how to be present how to be in the moment how to shut down your brain and just be in the awareness and it translated over into everything else in my life everything else that i do now because i started thinking cold shower became a more spiritual experience because we are spiritual beings and to ignore that is to ignore your very existence your very being who you are okay that's it um check out my book five powerful habits to dominate in all areas of life uh leave me something in the comments i love you guys i love cold showers i love you i love everything um i'm in a very loving mood right now um and as always don't forget to subscribe or you're gonna sleep with the fishes